Welcome to Absurdity Today. I'm Juliana Forlano. Another cruise ship is reportedly overflowing with copious amounts of crap. Also overflowing with crap? CPAC. There's nothing on this green earth that a liberal progressive fears more than a black American who wants a better life and a smaller government. Oh, come on, Alan West. I'm tired of liberals dividing this country up into little groups, setting them upon each other. That's just an instance of, what, I'm rubber, you're an idiot? When the soup lines of the Depression stretched down shuttered city blocks, we recovered. Yeah, we recovered thanks to a huge government-sponsored jobs program funded by rich people's money. Okay, who else is there? Ooh, South Carolina governor and Tea Party patriot Nikki Haley. Thank you very much. It is so great to be here in Washington, D.C. Not really. <laughs> That's funny, because we don't really want you there either. We're a patriotic people. Oh yeah, this conference? Full of mitt. The heart of America is good. Did I say mitt? Our land is blessed by the hand of God. Empty rhetoric, empty rhetoric. I applaud the clear and convincing voice of my friend Paul Ryan. I wonder if they hand out barf bags at this thing. You know, it's troubling and it's saddening how quickly this whole debate has deteriorated. Ah, Wayne LaPierre. I can't help but think that as Americans, we all want the same thing. You to go away? We know our mental health system is in shambles. We all want it fixed. But we're not gonna pay for it. Now I buy all my televisions from South Korea. Uh, I'm sorry, what? I buy all my televisions from South Korea. There has to be a home and a movement in America for people who believe in limited government, constitutional principles, and a free enterprise system. Ah, Marco Rubio. Just because I believe that states should have the right to define marriage in a traditional way does not make me a bigot. Actually, I think that is the definition of the word bigot. Bigot. A person who is obstinately or intolerantly devoted to his or her own opinions and prejudices, especially one who regards or treats the members of a group with any hatred or intolerance. So there's that. Marco Rubio with the water again. Like a true conservative, he has learned nothing from history. You're watching Absurdity Today. I'm Juliana Forlano. Find us on Facebook at Absurdity Today. If you like this series, email to your inbox. Snow at absurditytoday at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.